Hi there, welcome to Bot Sailor. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create your own dynamic lists in WhatsApp interactive messages with the help of HTTP API. We will collect external data as a form of JSON which is subject to change according to the condition from the website. Using JSON as format allows Bot Sailor to pick specific parts which you want to display in your message. Without further ado, let's get started. Go to the Bot Sailor dashboard and move to settings. Then select HTTP API. Click on WhatsApp HTTP API. I am disabling the previously created API for this tutorial to show you how you can make your own. Let's create HTTP API. Let's keep the API name. Select get as method because we want to fetch data from external source. Let's go back to the subscriber manager and copy one subscriber ID for example for the test subscriber ID field. And lastly, place the endpoint URL where you want to fetch your data from. Here, I am taking a look at how the endpoint URL should look like. Put the URL and click on Verify Connection. You will see something in the raw data field. Let's map the data. To map your data, you have to create a custom field in order to proceed. Without using custom field in bot seller, the system field is limited and cannot be used extensively. So it is mandatory to have custom field. Here, we can see some custom fields were added. For this tutorial, I am going to delete those fields and re-add to show you how you can create your own custom field for this dynamic listing in WhatsApp interactive menu. To create a custom field, go to WhatsApp Subscriber Manager from BotSailor, then select Manage Custom Fields. Here, I am deleting those custom fields. Let's create some custom field. Click the Create button and type your custom field. Select Reply Type as text. For this tutorial, we need another custom field. Let's create that too and set the Reply Type as text. Go back to HTTP API page and refresh the Field Mapping section. Select your first custom field and map this value as raw response. Save the API. Now go to the bot manager and create a flow for this HTTP API. Choose your trigger word and then add an HTTP API card. Choose the HTTP API you created earlier. Then add an interactive flow. Then create list messages. Give a button name, delete the other two lists and keep one. Select the row type as dynamic. Choose a custom field for dynamic lists. Select that field you map earlier at HTTP API. Here I picked product lists because it's a map as row JSON. Copy the headline title identifier from JSON value for the key slash index for dynamic row title. This headline title identifier is called object in JSON. Here I copied product underscore name object to show the product name as the display title. Format your dynamic list description as you like, identify the text area which should be grabbed from the custom field for JSON value. You have to copy the object name and make custom field pointed to the object name like how I am showing you in this video. Please keep in mind that the character limit is 72, which bot seller will read from the provided JSON object. Here I pointed product list custom field to price object of JSON and separated by hyphen with the same product list custom field to description object to make it appear in the list as under the product name, below price and following by the description which bot seller will read from the provided JSON. Now select the other custom field in the save selection to custom field drop down menu. Now copy the direct text slash URL object from the JSON and paste it to the key slash index for saved value. Here I picked buy underscore link object from JSON so that when someone selects something from the dynamic list, the bot will save it to the second custom field. Now add a finishing text flow and properly insert the second custom field there. Here I wrote a text alongside with the second custom field so the bot will deploy the given text alongside which is saved in the custom field. In this case, it will give my written text with a purchase link. The bot will identify the purchase link from user selected option based on the product name. Let's test the WhatsApp chatbot. We can see the bot is working fine and giving the correct directing URL in the message. This is how you can set up your own dynamic list in the interactive WhatsApp message using bot sailor. Thank you very much for watching this video.